Hello, my beautiful Cancer babies. Oh my goodness, guys, I missed you all so, so, so much. Oh, guys, it was such a long drive to South Carolina, and this move has been crazy, but it's almost over. I'm getting my furniture in tomorrow. Oh, gosh, I have missed you guys so much. I've been missed. I've missed working. <laughs> For me to not work, you know shit is real. Like, you know I am, like, busy, busy, like a whole nother level of busy. Um, because not only am I moving into this house, but Lunar Logic Tarot is moving into a new house, too. So we're both kind of going crazy moving into new houses. Um, so this is the new setup for now, guys. I know it's very white. Um, I don't know if I want to put stuff on the walls or if I want to change my table. So let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'll change the table to like a blood red to match that. Or maybe I'll put something on the walls. I don't know. I got to figure it out. So I wanted to hop on and kind of get popping with work again because I like, I just can't. I've never been away from tarot this long, like ever. I'm like dying to do a reading. Um... All right, so that was the longest intro ever. <laughs> so anyways, for those of you who are new to the channel who don't even know me, uh, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could go to my main channel, Tarot of Light. The link is below. I have a Virgo-only channel and a Leo-only channel. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do monthly giveaways on the channel. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals, and I broke a nail. Oh. Anyways, tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals, so just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment sen uh, section to enter a chance to win. Special shout out to Juju from Lunar Logic Tarot, amazing reader. The link to her channel is below. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Readings can be vice versa, so flip it, twist it, reverse it, smack it in the ass, make it your biatch, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Flip it to whatever way fits you and your situation, guys, okay? Um, I need my coffee. I've been living on Starbucks. Like, literally, this is my diet. Right here. That is my whole diet. All right, guys. Let's see what we have for my cancer babies. Let's see what y'all have been up to since I've been gone. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Woo. Okay, we've got the six of pentacles in the reverse with my busted ass nail. I can't take it. I can't even handle it. Tell me about Cancer, please. We've got the Two of Wands in the reverse. Tell me about Cancer, please. Seven of Cups. And the Page of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Energy. Four of Swords. And the Sun. We've got the Empress here, the Judgment card, and the Two of Cups. Ooh. The High Priestess, the Three of Pentacles, and the Hierophant with the Ace of Swords. Damn, Cancer. Damn. Okay. So let's see here. I don't know where my little Selenite wand is. <sighs> okay. So, Cancer, what? Now, this could be your side. It could be your person's side. Take it as it resonates. Okay. But I feel like the person on this side did not feel the same way about somebody. It's like, I don't know if you guys were dating or if you, you know, were with this person in a legitimate relationship and they fell out of love and they stopped feeling the same way. I don't know. Um, but this person started to communicate with multiple other people or is communicating with multiple other people. So Cancer, this could be an indication of, let's say, you know, if you started dating someone new, this person's talking to multiple other people. Or if you were dating with somebody, maybe they started to lose feelings and they started to flirt around and talk to other people. With the Four of Swords and the Sun card here, what we have is... Um, Oh, this is like a screw it, I didn't care about you anyway type of energy. Okay. So Cancer, I don't know. Again, this could be someone new. It could be someone you already uh, know. This person, okay, how do I want to put this? If you got into an argument with this person, they wanted to be like, you know what, Cancer, I don't care about you anyway. I'm going to go flirt and talk to other people. The problem is, is that all these other people aren't you. 
Do you see what I'm saying? Because with the Four of Swords and the Sun card, this person isn't really happy. Like, they'll go out, they'll flirt, they'll do all of these other things. It's like, it's kind of like they can't find you in anyone else that they meet. Do you see what I'm saying? Like nobody is giving to them the way you gave to them, whether that's financially, love, or maybe just the way they feel cancer. Maybe this person just can't, whatever they felt with you, they're not feeling it somewhere else. And they're, they're coming to a realization because we've got the sun and we have the ace of swords. So there's an aha moment. There's like, oh wow, oh my gosh, like I can't believe this. I feel like with the judgment card, the Empress and the Two of Cups, somebody is here here is having a moment in it's like an epiphany of damn, I've met the one. Okay? The High Priestess, the Three of Pentacles and the Hierophant, this is someone whose intuition or their higher self or their higher judgment is saying you know what? I've met the one. I cannot replace this person. I, I don't feel the same with anybody else. Cancer, dare I say, if we're dealing with a gentleman, okay, this is someone that can't even perform sexually with other people. So this is someone that like can't, this person is sprung, like they're in love and it's just like, they don't feel this. How can I? I don't know how to express what I'm trying to feel. What I'm trying to feel right now. Listen to me. When they date people or when they hang out with people, they don't feel that same vibe as they do when they're with you. Okay. Now, if you already know who this is and you guys are split up, this is somebody that, you know, if their new person cooks for them, oh, well, you don't cook the way cancer did. If they clean, well, you don't cook, you don't clean the way cancer did. Do you see what I'm saying? Like this is somebody that is constantly comparing other people to you. Now, even if you met this person once, even if you only hung out with this person one time, it's like they're not picking up on the same vibe with other people. Tell me about the seven, excuse me, six of pentacles in the reverse with the eight of swords. They can't forget you. Two of wands in the reverse and the knight of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Cancer, this is somebody that is dating. They're dating. They're going out. They're talking to other people. They're trying to, yes, yeah, the eight of wands. Um, they're, they're talking to other people, dating other people, but they can't forget you. Like they're not getting the same vibe or attention. Seven of cups. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. They're not finding anything out there. They're not finding anything. They're not finding anything stable, anybody solid, anybody committed. They're not finding anyone that they want to offer that pentacle to. Page of Pentacles and the full card in the reverse. They're talking to people, but not people that they really want to invest in or start a life with or take a risk with or that they're willing to fall in love with. Tell me about this Four of Swords and the Ten of Wands, and it's getting harder and harder and harder, Cancer. Wheel of Fortune under the deck. The tables may be turning on this person. The tables may be turning on this person, Cancer. We've got the Six of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. So Cancer, this could be somebody that like you got into a fight with and they just got in their car and left and never came back. They let you go. You let that. Maybe it was you, Cancer. Maybe you got mad. You got in your car and, you're le and left and this person didn't chase you. Okay. Or you didn't chase this person. It's like somebody here, there was just, you know what I'm saying? A little, somebody here just gave up and walked away. So if this is something new, like where you you haven't slept with this person yet. This person kind of just stopped talking to you. They just kind of let this let it die down. Or if it's something older where you know this person or whatever, maybe you got into an, an argument and left or they did. And it was like there was no chase. Someone decided to just let it go. And now the tables are turning on them for doing that. And it's getting harder and harder. It's like when they walked away, when whoever this is that walked away or didn't chase and let you walk away, thought it would be easy to replace you. Tell me about the sun card and the devil. Yep, seven of pentacles in the reverse. And I don't keep reversals in my decks, Cancer. But I feel like it's starting to hit this person that nobody is going to invest in them or give to them the way you do or nobody has what you have. 
they're becoming a little obsessive here, Cancer. I'm not going to lie. Like this person, it's, it's hitting them to the point where they can't stop thinking about you. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. We have the Three of Cups. And the Ten of Swords. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. The Justice card, Libra Energy, and the Death card. The Emperor in the reverse, and the Two of Swords, Aries, Taurus, Energy. Cancer, this may have ended. Yeah, see, we've got the King of Swords and the Two of Pentacles and the Moon card. Cancer, this situation may have ended because there was a third party. This whole situation may have ended because there is a third party. And with the Death card and the Justice card, you walking away from this person and ending it, you finally putting up your boundaries and saying, this is officially the last sword that you're going to put in my back. Do you see what I'm saying? When you tell that to this person, Cancer, that is their karma. It, this is the scales. This is justice balancing out. Two of Swords and the, the Emperor in the reverse, you're not really willing to give it another chance because you just don't trust them. The Moon card, the Two of Pentacles, are you telling the truth? Are you telling a lie? We'll never know. You know what I'm saying? We'll never know. I, you know, who knows? Who knows what you're trying to do? Because this person's very, they're not stable. They're not stable. They're non-committal. And, and you just don't really want to deal with it. Yeah, see, seven of wands and the three of cups. The person on this side really is not. Tell me about the seven of wands and this three of cups and the hermit. This person's mind's made up on this side. They don't even want to think about it. Nope, I don't want to. I'm happy. It's, it's almost like a sense that this person's happy. Ten of Swords, please, for Cancer, and the King of Wands in the reverse Leo Sagittarius energy. Cancer, this person's going to start to get real nasty. This person's going to start to get real nasty, very jealous, very possessive. They're going to start popping up places. It's going to be a little unexpected for you, Cancer. I'm telling you right now, it is going to be a little unexpected because I kind of feel like there's a period of you and this person not talking. Do you see what I'm saying? I kind of feel like there's a little bit of a period of you and this person not talking and it's like out of nowhere, they just kind of pop up and they're like, you know, where are you? Where are you going? What are you doing here? What are you doing at this bar? And you're like, what, what, what the hell are you doing? You know what I'm saying? It's just like this energy of why are you even here? Tell me about the justice card. Ten of cups in the reverse. The death card and the ten of pentacles with the eight of cups. You know what, Cancer? You tried having happily ever after with this person. You did. You gave it all, you, all ten of your cups. You gave it your all. And now with the eight of cups here and the ten of pentacles and the death card, there's big changes taking place in your life, Cancer. You've walked away. Money might be coming towards you or something maybe even more solid and committed may be coming towards you. But you're walking towards something big. I mean, you're walking right into a ten of pentacles. And for those of you new to, uh, to tarot, the Ten of Pentacles is like long-term financial stability, long-term emotional stability. It's everything. Yeah, see, we've got the Three of Swords and the Emperor in the reverse. This person has hurt you multiple times. They make promises. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Cancer, they're coming in with an apology out of freaking nowhere. This is coming out of nowhere and it's going to stress you out because you know how much this person has hurt you in the past. Um, I don't feel, I don't feel like you're really going to jump on this right away. I, I feel like it's going to stress you out. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it's going to stress you out, Cancer. Tell me about this two of swords and the seven of swords in the reverse. It's almost like you can say no all you want, but this person, it's like they always manage to, there it is, the, the six of cups. This X with the seven of swords in the reverse and the six of wands has always been victorious in sneaking their way in. So you guys can yell and scream at me all you want, you know, that you don't want this X back. And that's completely understandable because I do see that here, Cancer. I do see that you don't want this X back. I get it. But they're going going to try to sneak their way back in here cancer they're going to try to sneak their way back in tell me a little bit more about this devil card i feel like it yeah it's pissing them off that you're not investing in them that you're not chasing them 
That's what's really pissing them off. Yep, you see here, nine of pentacles under the deck, Cancer. You're sitting here looking pretty. You're financially abundant. You're taking care of yourself, your body. The snail looks so horrible. Look at this. Oh my gosh. You're taking care of yourself. You're taking care of just life. You're doing good. You're doing good at life right now. You're just glowing, Cancer. Some of you may even be dating. Ace of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Cancer, you may have somebody coming into your life new that's going to be solid, steady, give you your wish fulfillment. Cancer, this person is not going to just let this fly, though. I'm telling you right now. I feel like you guys are really more excited about the new love than you are about the past love. But I feel like, you know, Spirit's definitely warning you. Yep, because look, we've got the Lover's card, Gemini Energy, Adam, even the Snake. Yeah, Cancer, you might be right. You may start be looking for new people, dating new people, flirting with new people. Um, but that X is like that snake coming in trying to screw it up. This person's missing you, Cancer. This person's missing you. And I feel like there's a small part of you, Cancer, that's been waiting for this to happen. You're a little shocked at the intensity of the way this happens because it is going to be intense. When they, when they come back around, it is going to be intense. I'm telling you. Um, I, I actually feel like many of you are, are way more excited with the new person that you're dealing with. If you're talking to people, if you're flirting with people, you're kind of like more excited going down that road than you are you know, really thinking about this ex. So I do believe you when you tell me, Gina, nope, it's over, it's done, door closed, bolted, locked. I get it. But this person just seems to have that ability to kind of tiptoe their way back into your life, Cancer. And it may even happen without you knowing. Like maybe they find an excuse to reach out over something, you know, and you think it's over something stupid. So you talk to them, you know. Yeah, Cancer, so they're not going to let this slide. So I'm going to take it into the extended. I want to find out. Okay, I want to find out what this person wants from you. What are their true feelings, intentions? Are they still dealing with other people as they come towards you? Because it looks like this person deals with a mess of other people. I'm not going to lie to you, okay? Um, you know, are they still dealing with other people? Are they coming back with serious intentions? What do they really feel for you? Like, what do they really want? What is the outcome here? If you should reconcile, what's going to happen? Um, and for others of you, I want to focus on this new love because I feel like you guys, I'm getting a little bit of a butterfly feeling here with you and this new love cancer, okay? So we'll, go, we'll take a, a, a look into that that also okay the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below i do a 100 dollars giveaway every month um all you have to do is purchase the extended and you're entering a chance to win the winner is announced on the first of the month okay i see i'll see you guys in the extended i love you so much take care my loves bye